It's possible that learning Swedish isn't on your to-do list. However, Swedish is one of the easiest languages to learn. So, let us share with you a video of fascinating facts about Sweden. Maybe one day, when you've mastered Swedish, you'll be able to put your talents to the test when on vacation in the beautiful Scandinavian country. Sweden is one of the world's oldest sovereign nations with a 1,000-year history. This Scandinavian country is also the 8th oldest kingdom on the planet and it was founded by Eric the Victorious in 970 AD. Since 1917, the country has been a constitutional monarchy with parliamentary democracy. Forests cover two-thirds of the country's geographical area, or around 23 million hectares, roughly the same size as the United Kingdom. Private individuals own half of the land, while private corporations own the remaining half. However, the Swedish Forestry Act governs forest management and ensures that trees are protected and replanted after they are cut down. In Sweden, there are over 95,000 lakes where swimming is permitted. The lakes are mostly clean, and their sizes range from little forest ponds to big lakes. The population of Sweden is approximately 10.3 million. That's almost twice as many as Norway's population. It's also much bigger than the other Scandinavian country, Denmark, which has a population of approximately 5.8 million. The Swedish people love to recycle. Only 1% of waste ends up in landfill with 50% being recycled or composted and 49% being incinerated for energy. This may sound like great news, but it has caused one big problem. There's not enough waste left to keep the incinerators running. So, Sweden has come up with a novel solution. They import waste from Norway and the UK to keep the lights on. And as a double bonus, the countries actually pay Sweden to take their waste away. A surprising brand that takes a back seat in Sweden is Coca-Cola, at least during the Christmas period. While many nations enjoy traditional festive drinks, such as eggnog or mulled wine, Sweden's yuletide drink of choice is a carbonated beverage, or soda, called Jolmust. Jolmust is a fermented, though alcohol-free, malt drink similar to root beer. 45 million liters are consumed in December when it outsells Coca-Cola and, in fact, every other soft drink brand combined. Jolmust then disappears from shelves for a few months when it reappears at Easter as past must, the same drink in a different bottle. 75% of must is drunk in December and the remaining 25% whenever Easter falls. Outside of these times, the drink is almost impossible to obtain. After the Korean War, North Korea attempted to rebrand itself as Paradise and started some grand engineering projects using machinery bought from the West. Sweden was one of the first countries to jump aboard the hype train and open up financial relations. The people of Paradise needed opulent vehicles to drive around in and so in the 1970s ordered 1,000 Volvo 144 gallons luxury cars from Sweden. The first of these were delivered in 1974. Shortly afterwards, it became clear that North Korea neither could, nor wanted to, pay for these vehicles. Instead, it was simply letting the bills pile up and, to this day, the debt remains. In typical Swedish fashion, realizing there was little they could actually do, they simply kept sending invoices. And so, every year, the Swedish government recalculates the debt and sends a new invoice. The debt stands at around 300 million euros, and while the country knows there's little chance of seeing the money, they're making sure it never gets forgotten. It can be tough living in the north of Sweden in winter when there's less than five hours of daylight for months on end. Seasonal affective disorder is a type of depression that arises in response to a lack of daylight and affect many people in the far north of Europe. To help combat this, one city in Sweden installed light boxes and bus stops to allow people waiting for their transport to experience a little extra daylight during the dark days of winter. Sweden might not be the first place on your mind when thinking of space exploration, but it does lead the world in one key astronomical way. It has the world's largest scale model of the solar system. Emanating from the Ericsson Dome, the world's largest hemispherical building, in Stockholm, the model reaches 950 kilometers away in Karuna where the concept of termination shock, 
the end of the solar system is marked. The scale is 1 colon 20 million and each object is marked with a model or statue. Mercury is a mere 3 kilometers from the center while Earth is 7.6 kilometers away, Neptune is 229 kilometers away, and Pluto is 300 kilometers away. That being said, the majority of Swedes live in urban areas. In 2018, 63% of the population lived in one of the 126 urban areas with more than 10,000 inhabitants. Swedes are not known for being unhealthy or obese, but still, you can find the highest number of McDonald's restaurants per capita in all of Europe. So, there's definitely not a shortage of fast food here. With that said, in recent years, many fast food chains have tried to establish themselves in Swedish cities, but most of them have failed. Since the inland ice was drawn back circa 10,000 years ago, there has been a land elevation in several parts of Sweden. At most, the uplift has been around the area of the high coast in Angermanland. Since the inland ice, the land elevation has been more than 800 meters. Nowadays, the biggest land elevation is at Furogrund, which currently is around 9.2 millimeters per year. In the southern part of Sweden, however, it's currently lowering, even though we're talking about negligible values of 0.5 mm per year. What is Sweden famous for? Your first answer may be IKEA or even H&M. Swedish design has permeated the world consciousness in the last century. For Swedes, design is woven into the fabric of everyday life. Swedish design is known for its emphasis on sustainability and functionality and everything from architecture to textiles design. Swedes like things to look good, but they also like to keep it simple. Whether you're visiting or even studying in Sweden, you'll want to bring back a little local design with you. Look out for more unique finds from local artists, interior designers, and smaller fashion labels. In Stockholm, you can visit the design district located in the trendy Sodermalm neighborhood. Of all the things Sweden is known for, this is one for those who are living or studying in Sweden. You're free to be you. The Church of Sweden is Evangelical Lutheran, but it has been separated from the state since the turn of the millennium. You'll find many other religions represented here, from other Christian denominations to Buddhism. Islam is a growing religion, and there is a large Jewish community. Yiddish is, in fact, one of the five recognized minority languages in Sweden. If you like my video, you can subscribe and like.